past 10 years, I, I think, has been, has been an, an incredibly phenomenal. And I think you have to start with, with fracking and just the, the predominance of gas that is now in the marketplace and how it has taken such a strong competitive position uh, as, as a fuel source. And, and, and seeing you know, what it does in terms of our dispatch, in terms of our, of our fuel mix, and, but what it's doing to the economy all across this country. Uh, it, it has changed communities, it, it has brought economic opportunities to places that otherwise wouldn't be there. And so it is, it is, we've seen just significant changes uh, over these past 10 years. And I think a lot of it has to do with gas. At Southern today, we, we are very excited about the future whether it's uh, just the excitement about the business itself and what's happening in the business itself with the changes and with, with the technology that's available to, to, to meet the needs of our customers and what it has in store for, for Southern Company. And we are in two major construction projects, uh, one which is the gasification of coal down in, down in Kemper County, Mississippi, and uh, building uh, some of the first new nuclear units in this country is down in Waynesboro, Georgia, right outside of Augusta. Uh, we think it's important that this country uses all the resources uh, available uh, from an energy standpoint. As you talk about nuclear in this country, it, it, it must have a place and, and, and this country must continue to invest in nuclear because of the values that it does bring. I mean, it, it's very competitive on, on an operational side. At the same time, I mean, there are significant jobs and, and economic impact that it brings to communities, that it brings to suppliers, uh, that it brings to our country. And so the value of that investment I, is there. And so a commitment to nuclear is very important. Now, there are other things coming. I mean, there, there are new technologies that, that are on the way. So this is not your mom and dad's old, old energy company. This is not your, your mom and dad's old, old, old utility company now and what you'll see in the future. Uh, it's gonna be different, but it's gonna be exciting and it's gonna continue to play an important part of, of the economy going forward. You gotta continue to, to, to look at technology. I mean, the industry will continue to change and, and, and I think there will be more distributed resources that, 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 that will be in the marketplace and available to, to all of our customers. And so for, for us as a company, we've got to continue to do the things in terms of investing in the grid, uh, investing in the, in, in the plants that we have on the ground today, but also we're looking at, at, at the holistic uh, aspect of serving our customers uh, before the meter as well as on the other side of the meter and so it's it's an exciting future I mean the things that we see that are out there the ideas that are, that are being tested and the ideas that are being developed uh, I think points to a, a bright future um, for our business and for our industry going forward and so without the chamber without the Institute uh, I think uh, we've can, we've we could have been put at a big disadvantage uh, and the policy debate. And so uh, I can't thank the Chamber, I can't thank the Institute enough for, for partnering with us, for helping us tell our story, uh, how important uh, our business is, but how important issues are uh, that are being considered uh, in, in Washington. And so having the Institute, having the Chamber advocate, represent, help us tell our story has been a great value and we could not have been as successful as we have been with, with, without that help. As the Institute celebrates its, its 10th year anniversary, I am excited to see the, the transition that you're making uh, to look at uh, these issues from a more global perspective. 